Welcome to Lake Chatug, one of the most beautiful lakes in the southeast. This majestic reservoir is centered in North Georgia's Blue Ridge Mountains neighbors downtown Hiawassee. But along with landscapes that never thought existed in Georgia and an underpopulated lake, this entire area is truly a hidden gem. So with two kayaks, a stand-up paddleboard, and a weird mission, Check the land for snakes. we were off to find islands. Lake Chatu, let's get it. Man, isn't this lake freaking beautiful? It is, dude. You got a beautiful background. You got, you're like surrounded by mountains. It's weird. You're like in this valley. You look all around you. I mean, honestly, you would not believe this was in Georgia. Like everywhere you look on either side of you are mountains. It's 10,000 times better than Lake Vermeer. 10,000? It, well, it's so much more scenic. It's not too busy. What Lake Vermeer does have though, it does have a bar on the lake. Incoming waves! <laughs> Do you understand? There's the island! To the first island, child. <laughs> wow. Wow. This is the big... Wow. Wow. Get all that! Get away! Get away! <laughs> When coming up to a rocky shore, waves could be dangerous. Oh, molly! <laughs> Bro, where'd that come from? That's what I'm talking about! Check the land for snakes. Get on up here. Our own little mini island. Think there's any bears on this island? Yeah, maybe. Ow, my knee. I hit it on the uh, thing, it hurts. Which is why we're naming this Watch Your Knee Island, since I hit my knee pretty badly on a broken tree. Let's grill out over here. Well, at least on this island, we can be sure that there are no bears. Give me some wet shoes, Sal. These are my wet shoes. Those aren't wet shoes. These these are wet shoes. Those are wet these sandals. Are Saiyans wet shoes. No, those are just weird sandals. These are oh. oh, bro, you just lost one. Save it. Lesson one, if you're gonna use a teeny little thing like this, don't make the fire big. Look at these burnt shrimp. <laughs> a little bit, oh, oh wow, wow. wow. Ah! You should try this one in here. Let's just admit it. We are the worst shrimp makers of Ooh. all time. <laughs> this is your finest shrimp you ever find. It is true that we could have gotten an electric grill of some sort or battery powered grill, but I thought that this was what real adventurers do. <laughs> and uh, we're about to try the worst shrimp of our lives. <laughs> like. Then my mic went out for a short while, but long story short, we tasted the shrimp and it was about a 3.5 out of 10. Not a fail, but it could have been done better. It was about the worst shrimp of my entire life, thanks to me. Ready, Captain? Aye, aye, Skipper. Okay. <laughs> this is the most beautiful lake in Georgia, in my opinion. And I've been to every lake in Georgia. It's true that I really have been to every major lake in Georgia. But Lake Chatug, in my opinion, is the most gorgeous. So it's a Sunday morning on a beautiful summer sunny day, and there's still not many jet skis or boats out. 
This lake is so beautiful. We're gonna check out this cove, see if we can find a pretty cool place. The second island. Clear water, bro. Clear water. I don't know if it's connected. <laughs> we may have to call 911. I got a really bad cut. Okay, all right, nobody freak out. Yeah, no one freak out. We're gonna explore this island. This is just a big peninsula that connects the shore. Because it's camouflaged in the back of a cove, welcome to Hidden Cove Peninsula. And from this perspective, we are right here, surrounded by mountains. Definitely, I don't think it's spiders, it's a bunch of silkworms. This, this is actually cotton candy. <laughs> Like our first batch of shrimp, in life you can either quit or learn from your mistakes and try again. Move them around a little bit. Ooh, it's hot! What our first mistake was, obviously, we didn't have like tinfoil where we could kind of maintain and regulate the heat one of the shrimp make sure it didn't get like black and burnt, and then also fall through the cracks, which we did lose a few shrimp earlier. We got some garlic. I believe we got some good butter in there, some olive oil. This is gonna be some of your finest shrimp you ever had. That is good. All right, y'all have a good day. <laughs> All right, so we did two islands. Now we're gonna hit up the beach. Ready, Captain? Man, this water is beautiful. All right, let's get a little bit closer to shore because of these boats. But on our way to the beach, we found something even better. Hey, is that a rope swing? You want to do it? The abandoned rope swing. There, the waves of your... Macy, you okay? People from a distance saw what was happening and decided to join. Oh my gosh! That was dope! You did a backflip! Gosh, then there goes Malloy. Whoa! Look at going, little kid. Doing good. The adventure begins. This time, Tony will adventure up. Will he jump or will he chicken out? Find out this time on Build the Dream. In case you didn't know, I have an abnormal fear of heights. And I was very scared going up. Go up. You got this. Bro, I can't go higher. Yes, you can. <laughs> I can't. You can. You just choose not to. Come on. All right, this. Nope, higher. Bro, I'm shaking. No, no, no. Here, let me go. Let me start. No, no, no. You want to make YouTube videos about adventures, you got to at least try. But on the other side of fear is freedom. And freedom just happens to be fun. Let's get it back up! Go! Oh, God! That was the most height-fearing task I've ever conquered and happened to be a highlight of the trip. I ended up doing it a few more times off video, just without fear. The greatest thing of all time. Where the rope swing is at. We got some waves coming. Woo! Yeah! Here we go. I am a cook. <laughs> <laughs>
We arrived at the beach looking for water and somewhere to grill the rest of the food, but unfortunately didn't find either. We're gonna try and uh, find some water because we ran out of water and fill up. Thinking we go over to that campsite. We literally kayak over there. Yo, look at this view. You see this? Are you seeing this? Right here? This campground on a large peninsula was a pleasant place for the day's last meal. Keep that there and we'll scout around. That's good. Yeah, try it. I'm telling you. Hey, yo, y'all want to play some tennis? See, we did this trip with nothing really in mind, but to get in our kayaks and explore Lake Chatuk. We explored two cool islands. We had a lot of fun kayaking throughout the way. We got to a uh, little beach, a rope swing. Now we're at a campground about to make our steaks. The moral of this trip that I learned, you don't always need a precise, exact plan to have fun. You never know what you might find. And when you have the choice between comfort and adventure, choose adventure. The trip has been amazing. It was a lot better than I thought. The rope swing absolutely made everything so much better. When you're on an adventure, when you're out here kayaking, you come across something like that, I feel like you want to not think about it too much. You just want to do it. You just want to do it. As long as you know it's safe, people have done it, you know? So you just have to take that chance. You have to take that leap. That's like literally taking a leap of faith. And it's like, if I would not have done that, I would have had an, a regret, you know? That was me. And thank you for bullying me into going onto the rep swing. I really appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, as soon as you let your feet go, it's like you just let it go. And it, you, the, the feeling, I cannot describe it. You cannot describe the feeling that you get when you're doing something like that. That is that um, entertaining. That is that exciting. That is that adventurous. You, you can't describe that feeling. You just have to feel it for yourself. And once you get that feeling, you will know what it's like. True Saiyans don't eat steak with a fork and knife. True Saiyans the lake was even more serene in the evening time. On the way back, we decided to take a quick break at the first island we found. Yet another successful build the dream kayak. Then the battery ran out, but a successful kayak trip it was. If you're going to find a lake to kayak, I recommend staying relatively close to shore because of boats. And unluckily for those of you watching, I couldn't find an outro song. So here I am singing. Thank you for watching. Have a blessed day. When the night falls down in the city In the sunshine of the day oh, I want to be there Oh, I want to be there in my city. Oh, 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 oh. oh we're about to crash. We're about to crash. <laughs>